D block and this is chromate and dichromate preparation their properties their color each and everything we are going to deal with so let's start from the very starting this is iron chromite o f e c r 2 o 4 can you see f e c r 2 o 4 1 to k 4 4 to k 1 1 to 4 4 4 to k 1 1 to 4 f e c r 2 o 4 just keep in your brain f e c r 2 o 4 or we can bifurcate it like f e o and c r 2 o 3 here you can see very clearly the oxidation state of iron is plus 2 and chromium is plus 3. Now, on undergoing oxidation with oxygen, definitely they are going to lose their electrons. As we know that ferrous can change to ferric and chromium belongs to group 6. So, maximum oxidation state must be, yes, plus 6. So, see this to has eliminated out as a side product Fe2O3 carbon dioxide and chromium got converted to CrO4. Remember that here the oxidation state of chromium is plus 6 that means chromium has lost all the electrons. Now this potassium chromate is yellow colored all sorts of sodium are soluble in water. So, it is yellow salt and which is soluble in water and remember that when chromate comes in contact with acidic medium remember that this is being yellow colored yellow yellow dirty fellow. So, once he met with Hanumanji, Hanumanji said what happened to you dear? Why you are looking yellow? Are you suffering with jaundice? Well, yes, sir. Do something. Hanumanji said, have some fruits. Which fruits, sir? Orange. The all fruits are acidic. So, remember, remember that whenever chromate, this yellow color comes in acidic medium. Always keep in your brain. People often forget this thing that in acidic medium or in basic medium who is being more stable. So, remember that that this chromate will convert into dichromate, but only in acidic medium. So, how to learn it, how to keep it in your brain fruits makes us healthy, wealthy and wise. So, chromate got doubled dichromate in acidic medium and Hanumanji said if you are doing consumption of basic medium, you are going to pub, alcohol is being basic, then your growth will come down and you once again yellow, yellow, dirty fellow and if you are eating orange, your color will become orange. So, potash sodium dichromate is orange colored, orange colored. Is it clear to all of you dear students? So, now see to it. This orange color when reacts with KCl it will convert into potassium dichromate. Now question arises how we should come to know that what is happening. See this is small cation large anion. How it is large anion? Cr2O7 multi atomic anion means large anion and if you see the periodic table hydrogen, lithium, sodium, potassium, sodium, potassium, sodium is smaller, potassium is being larger. So, small cation large anion relation of big and small it is not good small is small good big big good relation remember that bonding of equality is good either smaller cation and smaller anion they are good bigger cation bigger anion they are good, but this is not stable. So, see here large cation, small anion, even they are not happy. So, what they did? Exchanged their cation and anions. Now, see large cation, large anion, 
this potassium dichromate this is also orange colored so remember that all dichromates are orange colored all these chromates are yellow colored how this chromate got converted to dichromate in acidic medium if they are getting basic medium they will come back to chromate is it clear very good now it's written in your NCRT that sodium dichromate has very strong affinity for water. It absorbs moisture from the atmosphere. That's why it cannot be used as primary standard. Whereas potassium dichromate, it is used as primary standard during volumetric analysis. What does it mean? It means that potassium dichromate does not absorb moisture and it's not that much soluble in water. So, what does it mean that why to use in primary standard or not? Suppose you are going to deal with some experiment and you require a solution of one normality. Now, if you make this sodium dichromate solution of one normality and you go back to home, it will absorb moisture from the atmosphere and become diluted but this will not become diluted. So, its normality will not change and during titration N1, V1, N2, V2, we should have the constant normality of at least one solution that should be given. Then only we are going to find out the normality of another solution. So, it is used in volumetric analysis. So, it is used in volumetric analysis. Now, see the trick HSP trick. This is large cation, large anion. Whenever you are provided with large cation, large anion means good bonding. Good bonding means high lattice energy. High lattice energy means more lattice energy, less hydration energy. So, less solubility. There, small cation, large anion, less lattice energy, more hydration energy, more soluble in water. Clear? Very good. Now, if you add more acidic, see, pH is equal to 1. This much of acidic medium fruits can't give. But if you are using that much of highly acidic medium, you will get CRO3. It is also orange colored. This is orange colored, this is orange colored, this is orange colored and remember one thing, none of them, neither this, 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 that, they, they are not having even a single unpaired electron. Why? Chromium, chromium's atomic number is 24. 24, if I talk about 24 atomic number, that means I will write 3D 5 4S1. So, total of 6 electrons, 5, 1. So, they have lost all the 6 electrons. They are having oxidation state of plus 6. No unpaired electron. That means, no DD transition. So, how they are colored if no DD transition? Because we have to always learn if DD transition is there, they are then only they are going to show the color. So, the reason is, see, no DD transition because they are not having unpaired electron, but they are colored. This is due to charge transfer spectra, CT spectra. One thing is here, which is responsible for color charge transfer spectra. That means, their plus 6 oxidation state comes a little bit towards plus 5 side. That is beyond your syllabus, but do remember here there is no charge, uh, there is no DD transition. The color is due to charge transfer spectra. I will come to that thing also, but let me complete this. We have started from here. This reacted with oxygen. Oxygen has taken all the electrons of these. They have lost electron. Then they got fruit, orange fruit that is acidic medium converted to sodium dichromate, reacted with KCl, potassium dichromate, more acidic medium, CRO3. Now, when CRO3 reacts with 
concentrated as Cl and concentrated as CO4, even I can react this with potassium dichromate. They both of them they are going to get the same product CrO2 Cl2. This is known as chromyl chloride gas. Its color is either you can say red, deep red, reddish brown vapors, whatever is it is given, each and everything is correct. Now, when this chromyl chloride gas reacts with NaOH, it will give you yellow colored solution sodium chromate and all salts of sodium are soluble in water. Are you getting my point? So, this sodium chromate is yellow colored and when this is treated with lead acetate, you will get yellow PPT, yellow PPT of lead chromate. Till now, from here to here, I have told you each and every point. Now, come to this thing. If potassium dichromate reacts with hydrogen peroxide H2O2 in acidic medium, what? Potassium dichromate, now people must be asking what will happen if sodium dichromate, chromate, they are chromate or dichromate, dichromate, either you can react sodium dichromate or you can react potassium dichromate, either of the dichromate because we are going to deal with dichromate sodium and potassium they are just spectator ions they are not going to participate in the reaction both of them one treatment with hydrogen peroxide in acidic medium are going to give you deep blue or you can say uh, violet even violet deep violet only violet or deep blue because you know bib gyor blue and violet indigo they are almost touching each other. So, you are getting butterfly structure CRO5 with peroxide linkage. This is peroxide, this is peroxide. Here the oxidation state of chromium is once again plus 6, highly unstable because of peroxide linkage. But if you are treat, going to treat it with hydrogen peroxide in alkaline medium, 30 percent alkaline medium, then you will get K3CRO8. Now, in our school, we have studied whenever the peroxide linkage is there and the question has been asked, whatever the question is coming, if oxidation state goes beyond plus 6 of chromium, we always say it is plus 6, but do remember this is the most important question. Here the oxidation state is just plus 5. Number of peroxide linkages are there, but this question has been asked 3 to 4 times in your this my medical examination two times or three times in IIT and four times in AIMS. Do remember the oxidation state is plus 5. How to find it out? You can see minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1. So, 5 oxygen they have taken 5 oxygen they have taken 5 electrons. So, chromium has lost 5 electrons. So, oxidation state is plus 5. So, this is each and everything about chromate, dichromate, the CRO3 is missing in your NCRT, rest of each and everything is given in your NCRT. I have taken and I have drawn this memory chart totally from your NCERT, whatever the reactions they are given in your NCRT, but this CRO3 I have taken from JDLE because 5 to 6 times it has been asked in your exam.